My name is Clay Clark and I'm the CEO of Thrive15.com. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you specifically about the MacGyver approach to business. It's not about the resources, it's about the resourcefulness. The whole idea is that a lot of people have a ton of cash, a ton of connections, they have a rich dad, a rich uncle, and their business bombs. Some people have no money and they're able to grow a successful company just by being a, a honey badger who uses duct tape to keep their space shuttle together. What am I saying? What I'm saying is it's not about the resources, it's about the resourcefulness. And so as you're watching today's episode, we're gonna teach you specifically how to be resourceful to find the solutions to the problems that you face on a daily basis. At Thrive15.com, we believe that knowledge without application is meaningless. So as you're watching today's episode, take the time to ask yourself, what do you need to do to apply these principles in your own life and business? Otherwise, today's episode may just be more meaningless than claiming your dog as a dependent on your taxes. All right, today we are talking about the MacGyver approach. It's not about resources, it's about resourcefulness. Again, we're talking about the MacGyver approach. It's not about resources, it's about resourcefulness. Do you, do you remember who MacGyver was? Um, MacGyver was this 80s uh, TV character. He kind of, I'm just going to draw what I believe to be MacGyver, but he basically had this, this amazing, like it was like this mullet, like this curly mullet back here he had going on, you know, and he had this thing going on. And then what MacGyver was, was somewhat known for is it didn't matter what the situation was, he could always solve the problem using something that he had in his pocket. So, you know, they would have to like turn on an engine of a car or they would try to, you know, uh, un turn, turn a bomb off or, or something or, or, you know, somehow escape. And whatever he found in his pocket right here was always what he could, he could save the day with. He could always just save the day with whatever's in his pocket. He pulls it out of his pocket magically, boom, he just says, ha ha, whatever is in my pocket, this is what I have, this is gonna save the day. And he could save us from any situation using just whatever he found in his pocket. It was unbelievable. He always was just resourceful. He could take duct tape and like uh, somehow power up a truck or he could take gum and somehow use the gum to, to uh, keep the bomb from exploding. He was very resourceful. Uh, he was like one of those guys on the Survivor shows where you leave the guy in the middle of nowhere and he somehow takes two coconuts and builds a nuclear reactor and makes his way back home. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, but that's what MacGyver was all about. Now, in entrepreneurship, being resourceful is absolutely essential. And so today we're going to lay out the principles needed for the MacGyver approach because it's not about resources, it's about the resourcefulness. So one, principle number one, is only the resourceful survive. Oh man, I started the DJ company, uh, DJ Connection, and we did, at the peak, you know, thousands and thousands of weddings per year and corporate events. But I remember it was uh, Thanksgiving of 2000, maybe three, 2004, somewhere on that range. And uh, we had one of the guys who was a, a very pretty well-paid guy, college graduate. He couldn't figure out how to install shelving in our mini storage. For whatever reason, he just couldn't install the shelving. But before he could, couldn't find the, install the, the shelving, he couldn't find the shelving. So I put it on his list. I said, hey, I would like for you to go to many, to, to go out there and find some shelf, some shelving that we could put on the shelves to hold our DJ equipment. I'll just give you some context. The average piece of DJ equipment was about as wide as this podium. And it weighed about 80 pounds. It's the, it's the item we called the gig rig. And it would have to sit on this shelf. And the gig rig was like this, and it would have to sit on the shelf. And I bet you the thing weighed about 60 pounds, all right? And we'd have shelving that we'd put the gig rig on, and then we'd have shelving where we'd put the speakers on it as well. So the speakers would go on the shelves, and the gig, and the, uh, uh, gig rig would go on the shelves, and all the other equipment, but that's how we kept it organized. And before I sold the business, we had about 45 systems that we had. Well, it's about 2003, and I just bought these new systems, 
and I bought, I think we were going from like five systems to eight systems. So I had to have shelving built for three new systems. And all the guy had to do was to find the shelving and then to build the shelving and to put it up. So I get a call, I'm in Houston for Thanksgiving. I answer the phone, hello, this is Clay. Yeah, hey Clay, I can't find any shelves. I can't put the shelves up. Blah, um, blah, 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 blah. All over town? Yes, I have. Have you called places in the phone book? We, this is back before Google. Did you call places in the phone book? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you ask people? Yes, I did. Here we go. Time to be MacGyver. Now, at the time, I wasn't good at holding people accountable, didn't really understand some of the systems and processes I understand today. So I hopped in my car, and I literally drove all the way to Tulsa from Houston, leaving my wife in Houston by herself for Thanksgiving so that I could get home to fix this because we had equipment showing up and failure was not an option. And so what did I do? I went to the store just like he went to the store and I didn't find any shelving. And then I went to the hardware store and I didn't find any shelving that I needed. And so I bought some wood and I bought a circular saw and I bought a hammer and I bought some nails and I bought some phone cord phone cord, phone wiring. And I built these shelves by myself, having never used a circular saw before. And I put it all together and it looked terrible. And I used phone cord to hold the shelving firmly against the wall. I used phone cord and that is how I built the system. And do you know that those shelves were still in use for almost three years? They never did break. Why do I say that? It's not because I'm a genius, but it's because I had to be resourceful. And it's so different being an entrepreneur than working for one. You have got to be resourceful if you are going to survive. If you're not resourceful, you, you just can't, you can't make it. Okay, you just, you're not gonna be successful.